Good morning everyone, today we're going to visit a lot of temples. I'm in the city of Onomichi in Hiroshima Prefecture. At its peak, Onomichi had over 81 shrines and temples. Now there are 25 along the temple walk path and we are going to attempt to visit all of them. Onomichi is also famous for its cat population, so hopefully we come across a few cats on our walk too. When you get off at Onomichi Station, you can take a map of the path. As I wanted to visit all 25, I decided to visit Saihoji Temple first. After about 10 minutes, I reached Saihoji. I then made my way to the actual start of the trail. Here there is another map and signage indicating the way to go. Before long, I had reached Jikoji Temple. It is a fairly simple temple, but it has a nice garden. Next, we follow the signs to Komyoji Temple. As I ascended, the views were starting to get very pretty. A lot of these temples will have people paying their respects at the cemeteries, so please keep that in mind when visiting. Komyoji has this beautiful statue arrangement. I soon found the signs for Hodoji Temple. Following the route, I first came across Kibitsuhiko Shrine. I love these pieces of paper called Shide that decorate shrines. Hōdōji is also a simple temple, but it has a lot of cat ornaments. You can take part in a lucky cat painting workshop here. Then, back through the shrine to the next temple. Kai Fukuji Temple is the fifth temple on my walk. Here I discovered these audio guides that had multiple language options. Kai Fukuji Temple, tea set. The temple was established in 1328 by Saint Tom. This temple has a few things to see around the gardens. Apparently, the hats and bibs on these statues originated from grieving parents hoping to protect their children in the afterlife. Very sad, but also very endearing. By this point, I was already starting to get a little tired and decided to take a break as I was near the shopping arcade. I got a drink from this cute lemonade shop, but if you're hungry, there are lots of food places nearby too. Shin Gyoji Temple next. This temple is small and very quiet so it was the perfect spot to rest and drink my lemonade. There are lots of cute cat ornaments around the gardens, but I had yet to see a real cat. Tenneji Temple is right next to Shingyoji. These trees outside are so stunning. The inside garden is also very nice, but it looks like I missed out on the flowers. Spring might be a good time to visit this temple again. I refilled my water here too. Around this area, there are a few independent shops to check out. I also came across Ushitora Shrine on my way to Senkoji Temple.
All these temples so far have been very quiet, but Senkoji is by far the largest and most popular. It's a bit of a climb or you can get the ropeway up to the top. If you choose to walk, you can find Cat Alley. Here, there is lots of cat artwork and trinkets. You can even find cats on the pavement. I also came across the first real cats here too. There is a cat shrine here where people leave prayers or wishes for their cats. The view from Senkoji Temple is really nice. There is also an observation platform nearby for peak views of Onomichi and even Shikoku Mountains on a clear day. Next to this is an art museum which hosts different exhibitions throughout the year. The temple itself has many charms and fortunes you can purchase. These wind charms are my favourite. Senkoji also has these chain ropes that you can climb up the boulders with. After leaving, I came across another cat, but it wasn't interested in my company. Next, I went to find Senchoji Temple. This is a beautiful temple tucked away and there was a few nice things to see. I also found three cats here, but one ran away. Mio Senji Temple is a minute walk away. It has a nice crest on the front. Shikanji Temple is also very close by. Shikanji Temple, she said. That temple was established by Saint Shikan near Yohakari Bridge in Kurihara in 1348. By this point, I was getting confused with which ones I had visited as they looked pretty similar and were so near each other. Shoujuin Temple is round the corner from here. This one was right next to a main road, which made it a bit noisy. A short walk away is Fukusenji Temple. The garden has this enormous tree that has pillars holding up its branches. On the way to the next temple, I came across another shrine. I haven't seen many signs recently, but came across one for Tai Sanji Temple. There is also a cute map of the grounds outside. Tai Sanji has lots of great statues, including the three wise monkeys. The proverb, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, is popular in Japan. Jisenji Temple is number 15 on my list. This one looks a bit odd and I was worried I'd walked into someone's backyard accidentally. So I quickly moved on to Congo Inn right next door, which had nice bell-shaped windows. The route to the next temple consisted of some more stairs. It has lovely lamps along the stairway. Mm. 
At the top, I found Saikokuji Temple. This is quite a large one and there's lots to see here. After making my way back down, I could already see Jōsenji Temple. It wasn't far to get to Jōshōji Temple, but unfortunately, when I reached it, it was under construction. I crossed over the road to get to Songkōji Temple. This is a very modern building. You may not be able to tell it was a temple at first if it wasn't for the bell attached to it. I cross back over and follow the signs for Shōnenji Temple. I follow the signs for Saigōji Temple next. Unfortunately, this one was also under construction. So I made my way to Kaitokuji Temple. This one was a little awkward to get to, and to be honest, I didn't think it was worth it. But this was the 23rd temple on my route, and I may have been getting a bit fed up by this point. After another 10 minutes, I found the second to last temple. Jodoji is quite large and old looking, which I thought made it quite charming. There are a few different buildings to see here. The view is also pretty amazing. Last temple on my walk is Kairuji Temple. On the way, I came across another cat. Kairuji had some nice bits around the grounds. From here, you can go further up to another temple and observation platform. I think you can climb these chains in the distance to go up, but taking a path would take another hour. This was my route for today and how far I had walked. So I was pretty tired by this point and decided against it, but maybe another time.